Oh, hello guys. Come in, come in. Welcome. Welcome to my art studio. Come. All right. First off, hello wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, hasn't it? It's been a long time and a lot has happened. And one of it is that now I have a new art studio. So today, as requested by like five people, I'm gonna do a studio tour. Come. All right guys, so, once you enter the room, here's the door and then over to the left side. First, we got like this switch obviously for the lights and the fan. And then over here, this is my wall of supplies. I got this spec boards from IKEA. It's about 80 ringgit each, so I bought two of it. White color, there's another color which is like the box color, kind of brown. But yeah, I got the white one. And let's start over here. So on top, I got this bunch of rollers that I use for my paintings. And then over here, we got some washi tapes. We got a bunch of brushes and supplies. We got sponges, we got some glasses because one can't have too many glasses. All right, we got two caps that I wear all the time, some more random paints these are some leather paints i think yep and then got small canvas a tray that i use for my cutters and all all right down here to the shelf let's move on starting from here we got the mixture of my favorite acrylic paint it's like a middle range paint it's good i really like the texture of this paint i use the graduate acrylic from De La Rauni. and this particular shade is my favorite one portrait pink all right so here are a few and then these some more supplies these are my pencils cutters markers got some postcards we got scissors pens all that you can imagine that i would need it's here these shelves are from ikea it's very cheap. It's about nine ringgit each. Yeah, and I bought three of it to put it here. All right, this are my sponges that I use to roll for my paints. I use it with those roller I showed you just now. We got some more, but uh, I just washed them, so it's drying at the back. Over here, we got some more paints. This is the famous Maurice paint. I love this because it's in this mustard bottle love that all right moving on down here this is the redmi speaker or is it xiaomi redmi xiaomi yeah it's the me speaker it's really good the base is awesome it's only like a hundred something i'm gonna put a link down below if you guys want to check that out and then over here we got two small tables and this is a tv that i certainly don't need but i put it in here anyway so if I'm bored making some paintings, I'm just gonna turn on Netflix or something from the phone. All right guys, moving on to this little wall over here. I got two books on display. This shelf, I bought it from Shopee. It's like 15 ringgit each. Again, I'm gonna put the links in the description if you guys are interested. I love how it looks on the wall. All right, I got two books. And if you guys are fan of Tumay Abdullah, I think that's how you pronounce the name. Oops. I think that's how you pronounce the name as I was saying, Tami Abdullah. And I got these two books, Pelukis Jalanan and Architect Jalanan on display here. Love these books. Down here, I got a trolley, a white trolley full of more supplies. Uh, tissue, wet tissue, some lenses for that camera. I got a hair dryer because I use them a lot when I'm drying my painting. And then got more paints that is in tubes. We got some racks, racks, is that what we call it? Kain buruk, that's it. And then here are some sprays. We got some more paints that are the colors that I don't usually use a lot. So I put it down here. And then we got some spray paints as well. All right, put that back here. 
Moving on, this part. This is the newest addition to the room and also my favorite because it's a mirror. Come show yourself, camera woman. Hey guys, that's my sister, Amanda. <laughs> All right, so down here I got, um, I got my guitar over here and I got my ukulele, which only has three strings because one snapped the other day. So I need to buy a new one for that. But moving on, I got white, what do you call langsi? Curtains. I got white curtains for this room because I want to keep it light. And then over here, the shelf. This shelf, fun fact, it's not actually gold. It's actually brown in color. But I spray painted it gold just because. It's an old shelf. It has, you know, its flaws already. So I just painted it gold. Now, I got two acrylic drawers over here. And then this is another one of my hobby. These cubes right here. I really love some cubes. I got a bunch of it. I don't know how to solve all of this. I only know how to solve the 3x3, three 2x2s three, two and the pyramid. But nonetheless, it's a great decor item. And then back here, this one is a diffuser. And this one smells so good. It's from Canon. Canon, yeah, Canon. And the smell, the fragrance name is Mist. You guys should buy this. It's about 60 ringgit, but it lasts a long time. It says on the bottle that it should last for like two to three months. Looking forward to that. Down here, we got some books. Mostly Fixie, because I love Fixie. But there's also some that I haven't even opened yet, like this one. Still sealed. I bought this like last year or something. But I'm gonna add some more to the collection. I purposely <laughs> arranged it in rainbows. If you can see rainbows? Rainbow. No. Rainbow. That's it. Got some notebooks that I don't use. Because I'm one of those people who has a notebook obsession, but never use them. <laughs> Alright, so we got some files and down below we got some more novels, mostly English novels. I just put them here in case I'm gonna read. Alright guys, moving on to this side of the wall. But before that, if you guys didn't notice that this part of the room, you can see it, it has like a slanted wall and then the window and then another slanted wall. So I showed you over there, I'm gonna show you over here. I got this like the painting corner where I have this Harry Potter painting that I made last year in March or April. I made it in April, I think. Yeah, so we got this Harry Potter painting and I, I bought this easel just to put the painting. I literally have no other use of it because I don't paint on an easel. So I just bought it just to display this, but it looks good. So can't blame me. All right, on top here, this is a painting that my friend made. She uses markers, wait, or is it pen? I think it's like those small tape markers. And she made this gorgeous, gorgeous drawing of a mask. I'm gonna put her Instagram on the screen if you guys want to check her out i really like this it's lovely all right moving on over here this is like the most messy part of the room because just has a bunch of stuff up here this is actually one of the earliest paintings i've ever done this was probably four years ago five years ago i think the beatles and this one is actually a painting done by my brother but he didn't finish it yet and he left it here down here this is a four feet by two feet canvas it's a very large canvas i got a commission order on that but that's gonna be not anytime soon all right now we got to my working table which is where all the paintings happen it's over here this table i bought it from ikea 
it's the 150 wait 120 centimeters one it's about 120 ringgit i think 119 or something like that it's very cheap and then this is the handle i use to record my paintings just like that very handy love that this is a <laughs> a birthday gift from my bestie got my name over there very beautiful i'm gonna put the instagram on where you can buy this as well if you guys are interested love this all right moving on we got the handy dandy seat where my paint goes up and down obviously and then this is the what you call this again cutting mat i just put it all across the table because i cut a lot for my stencil art all right continuing this one over here is the tray i used to roll the sponges and do my paintings um yeah got a phone holder from ikea as well that's about six ringgit seven ringgit got my handy dandy tape holder this is my ipad got my laptop over here this mat is also from ikea it's about 14 ringgit 15 ringgit love that as well it's the same table this one and this one is the same table i just combined them and actually sometimes i put my table over here in the middle of the room but at the moment i put it on the side so i have a spacious room in the middle next chairs ikea as well and then i got my printer down there that is the canon e470 yep then we got a johnny that painting over here on my table because why not <laughs> we got another handle if i want to record more videos over here and then here comes the highlight of the room which is my square painting gallery i built this myself using um, wood this wood strip i just painted it black and then i nailed them onto the wall according to the size of the paintings so i can slide them in all right moving on to this part of the wall this is a built-in wardrobe actually but i removed the doors over here so i can display this is another printer it is a much more expensive one this one is about a thousand ringgit 1300 but it prints really really nicely and then over here i got two file holders from ikea as well it's a set of two it's about 10 15 ringgit for two kind of cool then we got this in case you want to have a karaoke session and then down here we got drawers full of unorganized supplies that i shouldn't show you but why not down here we got some plastic for postage and then down here i got some more supplies all right over here got some smaller canvases this is the a3 size we got a4 size square size and then this bar is actually silver but i spray painted it gold because i have an obsession of spray painting everything so i put my um, tapes here and then these are the bigger canvases which more paintings are coming up stay tuned for that okay continuing we got this wardrobe and over here is the tote bag with the johnny depp painting that i made a while ago if you guys haven't watched the video i posted it on my tiktok and also my instagram so this is the tote bag it has the same painting like the one on my table just now i use it every single day all right opening this over here nothing much in here i got some paintings up here we got some messy bubble wraps these are the smaller bubble wraps if i want to wrap some paintings for postage the bigger ones are up there up there up there all right over here same thing i got my praying mat over here my skipping rope paintings 
these are some more canvases which I bought this much for a reason I got new paintings coming up I keep saying that you guys might say no already <laughs> all right got a bag and these are the stocks for my shirts and hoodies I don't have a lot of it left but yeah there's some over there these are more tote bags because I want to make more paintings on this that is coming up as well I'm gonna make so many new videos hopefully for this channel because <laughs> I haven't posted for so long all right these now these are the doors that I removed just now from that side because I told you it has doors and I removed it right these are the doors I put it in here because I don't have anywhere else to put it and in this drawers I just supplies and some plastic bags that's all from in here and then we got back to the door but behind the door I just have a pair of slippers that I put there in case I want to use it that's all that concludes my studio room tour tell me if you guys like it and also tell me if you guys want a house no a house tour a house tour video because I'm at the new house which where I, I use one room as my studio art studio so this is the room for my art studio but I, if you guys want it I can do a house tour as well and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like the video like subscribe and see you guys next week bye bye why did I see you next week thank you so much can we do another take no no I'm just kidding <laughs>